So life's going better. It's going well. It's doing good. I got engaged in December, which has been awesome. Thank you. I deserve every single one of those. I don't know what happened. I dated up. I still can I don't know. She's so much better than me. I got to watch the game film to figure out what happened. I'm not sure. People have started asking me for relationship advice, which isn't great because I got set up. So my advice is just call Damon. That's my advice. It's like hand him the controller. He plays the first two levels for you. It's great. It's awesome. <laughs> She's great, I'm upgrading in life. I get to move into her house. That's a fun sentence for me to say. That's awesome. <laughs> it's great. Like she was like, uh, we were talking about it and she was like, I remember when you took me on this day and that's when I knew I loved you. She's like, when did you know you loved me? And I was like, when you brought up that your insurance plan covers spouses. I was like, that's about, <laughs> it's like, I think this is the one. I do, I really do. My knee hurts. I think I love you, I think. <laughs> She's better at being a human than me. She really is. We have different set of problems. Uh, last month, she was like, ugh, my mortgage payment. And uh, last month, I think my identity got stolen because I bought a Captain America shield from China. So, <laughs> different problems. <laughs> she just bought a crock pot. She has one. She just went out and got one. I didn't know you could just buy those. I don't, I don't know. And like, since I've been dating her, it feels like I turned in a test way too early. And now I'm talking to the rest of the class in the hallway afterwards. <laughs> They're just out there like, you have a crock pot, right? I'm like, what page was crock pot on? <laughs> was there a back? I didn't do the back. Was there? <laughs> she likes true crime podcasts. Anybody else like? <laughs> all right. It's always women, and that's terrifying. <laughs> Why do y'all love murder so much? I don't get it. They stress me out. And women are like, what's the worst thing humans do to each other? In my ear on a Tuesday afternoon for fun. Let's go. <laughs> We listened to one in the car and she got super excited and she gasped and she goes to turn it up and I was like, oh my gosh, what's wrong? And she goes, oh, this happened two streets down from my house. And I was like, we don't want crime podcasts to be more relatable. That's not. <laughs> she started getting into one recently and it is the daughter of a serial killer is going around and interviewing the families of her father's victims. Yeah, I don't like to talk to people I went to high school with, so. <laughs> I imagine this is pretty awkward. I don't, know. I don't know how you start an episode. You just both sit down at a table. It's like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> how are you? How are you doing? <laughs> she said it's really cool, though. She said a lot of times they bond over this shared trauma, and she said sometimes they become friends. And I was like, friends? <laughs> That's not a friend I ever want to introduce to anybody else. That's not, you can't be at a Christmas party and it's like, how do you know Lauren? It's like, oh my gosh, crazy story. Oh. Yeah, remember how my brother was murdered? Her dad, what, small world, oh. Get over here, she tells it so much better than I do, oh.